Here we have part B of the same question number 8 from October, November 2016, paper 4, variant 3. Okay, we've done part A already, and we found that R is equal to 13. We were, show, we were told to show that R equals 13 centimeters. That was in the first part, okay? So we know that R equals 13. Even if you weren't able to show that R equals 13, you could still use this in the next part of the question so you don't throw away the marks for the other parts of the question if you can't do the first part, okay? Because they said show that R equals 13. So they gave you R for part A. You had to just prove that it was 13. So don't ever do that. Don't ever give up if you can't do the first part. It's obvious many, many times, especially in paper four questions like this, they do um, require you or they do, they do um, sometimes um, give you something. They tell you to show it and then you can use that in other parts of the question and not lose the marks for the whole question. And it says show that, again here it says, show that angle AOB is equal to 134.8 degrees correct to one decimal place. So again, they've given us this so we can use it in other parts of the question if we don't know how to do this. So they're kind of giving you some help here. So we've got to show the angle AOB. AOB. Well, this is the angle here. Okay, I have to show that it's this, amount, this, this angle. I can't assume that it is and use it to you know prove other stuff I have to be able to show that my calculations will give me this for this angle so we know that this is 13 centimeters we know this this is 13 centimeters there's a couple of ways I can do this I know that I have a, a triangle AOB I have all three sides of the triangle I could use the cosine rule okay uh, to find this that's quite simple or I could use the fact that this is a right angle here and I know that this, as we mentioned before, is the same length as this, so this is 12. And I know this is the angle that I need divided by 2. Okay, this is the whole angle, this has been cut into two equal halves. So that part of it is x over 2. So I could do that, I'll do, in fact, I'll show you both ways, but when you're able to use right angle triangles, maybe that's a bit easier for most, most of you. So you have a right angle triangle that looks like this. That's 13 that's a right angle, that's 12, and, and that's the angle that we need but over 2. I like to write it as x over 2 um, because, what's the reason? Because sometimes you find x and you think you've finished, all right? So that saves you from making a silly mistake like that. So I can see that I have the side that's opposite, the angle that I am trying to find, and I have the hypotenuse. So if you remember, so katoa, so ka Toa, okay, that will be the sine ratio, opposite and hypotenuse. So I can say the sine of the angle that I'm trying to find, which is x over 2, is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Okay, so therefore we can say that x over 2 is equal to the inverse of the sine of 12 over 13. Okay, so we can again pick out the calculator and we can say inverse sorry we got inverse sine 12 over 13 close bracket make sure it's in degree mode which is always check that in case that gives us 67.380 67.380, 67.380, and our x is going to be twice that, that's x over 2, so it's 2 times 67.380, notice I've written it to more than one decimal place, because you have to show that it rounds to one decimal place, you'd always do that, leave it to more than what you require for the final part of the question, multiply by 2, that gives me 134.760, 134, oops, 134.760. I lost my pen there. And that happened. Okay, 134.760, which, as you can see, if you round it to one decimal place, gives you 100. And 34.8 degrees as required in the question, correct one decimal place. That's using right angle triangles. We could, as I said, use the cosine rule as well. 
we want to find an angle. Okay, this time I can call it the whole angle. Okay, x. The whole angle is x, right? So I can say that um, I'm trying to find an angle, so I say the cosine of the angle that I'm trying to find is equal to. Now remember, it's b squared plus c squared. b squared plus, so I'll just write the formula here first, and then I'll apply it. Okay, it's important, this. So you've got, for, if you're finding an angle, you say the cosine of the angle, we call it a, equals b squared plus c squared minus a squared over 2bc. Now, it's not the labels that matter, it's the concept that matters. So if I'm trying to find the angle over here, this angle, I'm, this is now x, I'm finding the whole of the angle. If I'm trying to find the whole of this angle here, then I know these two sides and I know the side opposite. If I'm trying to find this angle, then the a in my formula, the a, the letter a, small a, which represents a side, must be the side that's opposite the angle I'm trying to find. So if I'm trying to find this angle, I'm going to use this side 24. If I'm trying to find this angle, I'm going to use this side as my a13. Okay, so I say cosine of x, which is the whole of this angle, is equal to b squared plus c squared. Well, it can't be the 24, it has to be the 13th. So you've got 13 squared plus 13 squared minus 24 squared over 2 times b times c, which is 2 times 13 times 13. Okay, so x will be shift cosine of all of that. So I'll just do that in one step. Okay, writing that is enough for you to be able to get the marks for this question. Okay, you have to just show that you turn the steps properly. Okay, so you have 13 squared. Let me just do it in one step. Shift, that's inverse cosine, bracket, uh, bracket and um, fraction. 13 squared plus 13 squared minus 24 squared over 2 times 13 times 13, 2 times 13 squared basically, right, 13 times 13, close the bracket, and that's going to equal, voila, 134.760, 134.760, which is 134.8 degrees. And there we have it. Okay? That's the answer. Um, and we've shown that it was rounded to that from a larger value. Okay? Now I'm going to go straight to part C, part 1. Okay? And then I'll go on to the next part afterwards. Calculate the area of the major sector OAPB. Now the major sector, I'm going to get rid of some of this writing I've done in here. That's why in your diagrams, in your exam, you should write over your diagrams in pencil when you're like trying to work out stuff in case you need to use a diagram for another part of the question and then you've already got it messed up with pen everywhere you can't see half the stuff so always write on pencil on it so you can rub it out for me i don't have an issue i can just rub it out anyway okay now it says calculate the area of the major sector a o a p b so the major sector now a sector of a circle is like the pizza slice so this is a pizza slice here o a b Okay, now that is the minor sector, it's a smaller one. O, A, P, B is this big size here, so it's this whole big section here, like this is like the greedy person slice. Okay, so the big massive section here. So we've got to find the area of this sector. We've got to find the area of this sector. Okay, this region that I've shaded in blue. Okay, now, what do we know? Well, we know this angle now is 134.8. But 134.8.760, I'll, I'll write it in this more accurate form, at least to one more decimal place than we normally require. So that's the angle here, 134.76. So the angle on the inside will be 360 minus that. Okay, 360 minus that. So take the calculator again. Do you want to crash? No, something's crashing. Okay. So you got 360 minus the more accurate form, 134.760. 0. 0. 0.76, that's enough. Okay, that gives me 225.24. Okay, so the angle here is 225.24. 225.24. 4. Okay, so that's the angle over here. 
and I know that the area of a sector is given by the angle over 360 that's the fraction of the area that we need of the whole circle which is given by pi r squared so in this case our angle is 225.24 225.24 okay divided by 360 times pi times 13 squared that will give me the area of the major sector okay so let's just again stick that in a calculator so I'll take this angle I'll divide it by 360 okay that will give me the fraction that I need of the whole um, area times pi <clears throat> times pi times 13 squared times 13 squared and that gives me my area which is 322 332.18 332.18 which is the same as 332 to that's centimeters squared because your answer should be written to one des to sorry uh, three significant figures it doesn't mention anything else here so you should write it to three significant figures so it's your answer in your final space should be 332 centimeters squared 332 centimeters squared and i will go on to the next question in the next video the next part of this question thank you for listening